I think all of us struggle with finding opportunities to find out what the next step in our life is. Sometimes things don't work out the way you want them to, um, and that happens to everyone, so it's not like a failure on you personally. Hi, my name is Tiffany Shem. I am a face of Summer Medical Academy class of 2010. I graduated from UC Davis. I studied psychology, and I'm currently a medical assistant at uh, Urgent Care. I am Asian American, and my both my parents immigrated from China um, before I was born. And my mom is actually a registered nurse. And so um, I grew up with her coming home in her scrubs and like having her stethoscope around her neck and playing with her stethoscope. And I was kind of like growing up, I knew I just liked being in the hospital with her. I liked um, being in the healthcare field. And so I knew that that was something I wanted to continue or at least pursue. So FSMA was great for me because it was the first time I had any real hands-on medical experience. We did like the suturing clinics, we did um, anatomy learning at a cadaver lab in UC Berkeley, we did a cultural competency workshop which I found really enlightening because as a naive high schooler I, I wasn't put in situations where I had to have complicated conversations. And I think FSMA really instilled in me this idea of like there are populations in our world where, that don't have medical care, don't have access to the medical care that they need. And there are these disparities and gaps in our health care that can really be met by people who are aware of that. Currently, I'm on the track to becoming a PA, and that wasn't an easy decision. It definitely took a lot of uh, learning and experiences to kind of even find out what a PA was. Um, so I didn't know what a PA was until I volunteered at a student-run clinic at UC Davis. You know, I was really curious as to what part of the medical field I wanted to join because I only thought, you know, I could just only be a doctor or a nurse and those are the only options that I had. So after I graduated UC Davis, I became an EMT. I think it was a great way to gain more exposure to make sure that, okay, well I know what a PA is, but is that something that I could really see myself doing? And so I did that to kind of gain more exposure, meet more PAs, some, maybe try to find someone that I could shadow, and kind of just get more in that hospital setting. And then I actually was able to work with a PA at my next job as a medical assistant uh, at a hand clinic. And uh, I, you know, was the medical assistant, but I also scribed. I also did all the, like the back staff things, like set up for procedures. And I got to see the way the PA really was able to work as a team with medical assistants, with the physicians, with the front office staff. Um, and then that's when I knew, like, you know, that's what I want to do. You know, I want to be able to have a career where I find fulfilling, that I can go to every day and feel like I'm learning something new and not feel burnt out as fast. I am currently applying to PA schools, um, and this is my second time applying. It's not my first time, you know, I, I kind of, it's a little disheartening and it is stressful because the first time I applied, I, I did apply late and so I didn't plan for it as well as I could have. So I think the second time around, I've kind of learned from my mistakes from my previous application and looked at my weaknesses. I've gone over with peers, I've gone over with people that I've met, I've tried networking and getting PAs or people in admissions, counselors, whatever, to look at my application and tell me what I can do to improve it. Like I have to per persevere, I have to show that this is something that I'm passionate about and something that I really, really want. I think my advice, um, if you're in high school, I think my advice would be to learn as much as you can. When you're in high school, you know, you're in your own little bubble. I kind of let these experiences happen to me and I just absorbed them and I like analyzed them and just thought about them and kind of weighed out like, oh, I like this opportunity or I like this experience. Maybe that's something I can envision myself doing further down the line. I think it's important to do your research into the field that you're going into. So some books like Paul Farmer, Atwal Gawande, they have great books out about um, what it's like to be in the medical field and you kind of get a nice look at what their thought process is behind being providers. And so I mean I feel like life is an ever learning process um, and you just have to keep rolling with the punches and if you don't get in on, in, on a cycle or into school that you really wanted, it's okay. Like, not everyone gets in their first try, um, but you just have to persevere.